Today we'll be looking um, at uh, development and mainly we'll be focusing on it, spiritual development from you know the purifying the nefs perspective. Um, it is, um, when we're talking about development as a total being, I would say that there is the men there's so many elements to it, but the three that particularly come to my mind is the mental, spiritual and social. Um, and so, and they're all three important, but all of them are important and they're interlinked. And when we're talking about purifying the nafs, it really does, um, I guess, benefit or contribute to all of them. So going on the theme of the nafs, we're going to this week look at, okay, I should share my screen, um, about how to purify the nafs. So as a lead up, we've been talking about, um, you know, we've been talking about the different faculties of the human body um, and I've emphasized that it's really important to know um, the different faculties and their functions so that we can know how to use them for their purpose. Um, otherwise, it's like using a tool that, um, you know, that you're misusing or underusing, underutilizing. Um, and so knowing ourselves, our self-awareness is really key for that purpose. Um, knowing what, what each one, and we talked about the heart, the intellect, the ego, the spirit, um, predominantly. Uh, and then we focused on the ego. So last week we looked at the ego, the nafs, and I talked about how there are different levels of the ego. And one of the life's aims, I guess, is to try to purify that ego. Because the more one purifies it, the more they get closer to God, the more they um, fulfill the pur their purpose of, I guess, creation. Um, and so they um, and they get closer to their fitra, their uh, innate disposition. Um, and also, you know, I gave the analogy, you know, purifying the ego, it really is like, you know, if water is like the spirit, and I, I'll show you water, oh, there's no water in it this time, but there's water in it. <laughs> uh, and, you know, it's it's transparent. And if the, if the spirit is like that water, the ego can be like, you know, I guess the colouring that you might put into it. So if you put drops of, say, black colouring into water, it will change the colour of the water. So the ego is like that. It can change our um, our being, our, I guess, our personality, our character, um, and uh, and express itself quite differently. The, our qualities, just like the water, as you know, certain elements of the water, like the taste, the colour. Uh, ability to trans um, be, uh, or it's not being transparent change when you put black coloring into water similarly if we have a ego that hasn't been purified an ego that's untamed then it's going to impact on our character our thinking our our speaking and every aspect of who we are so um that's why we and we saw that as with the levels of the nafs ego as we go higher and more pure levels we see this more a much more serene a much more god conscious um a personality coming out um as opposed to someone at the lower levels especially um the you know nafs amara the um nafs amara which is the commanding self uh, is really just about impulsive behavior, wanting to do what it wants to do when it wants to do. And I gave the analogy and I had to put the image of a horse. If you'll remember, you know, you have, it's like your ego can be like a wild horse or it can be like a tamed horse where, where you are riding and you are directing it. With a wild horse, it takes you where it wants, it, wants to go. Um, you don't have much control over it and it's quite dangerous think of it too like a wild horse is quite dangerous because it has it's like it's got a, well it's got a mind of its own but it decides where it wants to go and it's often more often than not it's not where you want to go so um you know our ego is that the same if you have an untamed ego it's going to take you to pl places um that you really don't want to go or you know it's not good for you um and with that comes misery dissatisfaction and a whole lot of other, um, I guess, uh, experiences. So you can see how purifying the ego um, has so many benefits for a person. I would say that it has so many benefits for the afterlife, but also for this life, as in the, the, the seren serenity 
and the peacefulness that it um, that it brings forth. So we, I think the reason I sp spent so much time on understanding the ego is I think when you understand it, you kind of know how to tackle it. You, you know how to address it. You know what you know what the problem is or where the problem is, or you know what qualities to look for. Um, that you don't want, which is coming from a um, from an untamed ego. So this week we'll look at, at some examples of how one can purify the ego. So that's the whole perp, uh, focus of today. Um, and some of these are going to be quite well known, let's say, classical understandings of um, purifying the ego, like worship, which we'll talk about. But then, I, I in my mind, I was thinking there's also quite we've got to make it practical sometimes, some of these things that we talk about, because, you know, everything we do, everything we think, everything we say impacts us. If it impacts us, it means it also impacts our ego. And therefore, um, even those everyday little things that we do can have a huge positive or negative impact. Um, and sometimes I also believe it's easier to start with the little things um, and that's why, you know, trying to transform yourself and say, that's it, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to tame this ego by yesterday or by tomorrow. It's not always very, it's not always realistic. So um, sometimes it is easier to start with little things. And so that's why towards the end, I've gotten to, I would say towards the end of the slides, I've identified things that, you know, to me that really stand out, um, which I feel like maybe in my life they've really benefited me in purifying my I'm not saying that I'm perfect by the way <laughs> if I thought I was perfect it means that I've got ego issues <laughs> so I know I'm, I'm not I know I'm not perfect but I think the areas that where I feel like it's humbled me but also some practical tips